Yeah, that might have been the problem. Or it might not, we don't know. Fuck, I got it wrong there, actually. Scion is a very special beer we've got coming out. Brewed for the 100th anniversary of uh, Estonian independence. We've been thinking about this beer already before the 99th anniversary. So we decided we've got to honor the complex history of the country with a complex beer. And what could be more of a beer for Estonia than a rye heavy Balt Imperial Baltic Porter? So we've decided to age three different versions of this. We've got one in cognac barrels right here. It's been sitting for several months now. It's tasting fantastic. And it accentuates the dark fruit character of the Baltic Porter really nicely. It turns it all up to 11. Next up, we've got bourbon barrels. And those ones are gonna temper the rye heavy nature of this Baltic Porter. They're gonna tone it down, but then they're also gonna add their own layers of burnt toffee, caramel, and little hints of rye as well. These cognac barrels are straight from France. The bourbon barrels are from uh, Heaven Hill Distilleries over in the States. And then finally, the third part of this beer was brewed just, uh, just over a month ago. And it's a fresh batch that's aged on oak chips that have been soaked in Vana Tallinn liqueur, Estonia's most famous liqueur. And the plan is that all these three elements are gonna come together and they're gonna get married in stainless steel. They're gonna get blended together by us. What's wrong? But that's because it's going to America. And we don't have the American labels printed yet. You can take it back now. And then eventually that spicy fresh one is gonna lift these two up as well and they're all gonna mix and mingle really nicely and kind of add their own elements while still staying true to the beer that, that we've uh, envisioned for, uh, for over the last year or so. Can I dig it back in? Yeah. No barrels used at all actually. They're just for show. No, I mean basically like, to cut a long story short, I have to modify the emptying tool a little bit to move on to the cognac ones. And then if I have to go back to bourbon, I have to modify it again, and then back to cognac, and it's, it's kind of easier if I do all one type at a go.